Come on in. Hello everyone, welcome to Trans West. My name is Katie O'Neill. I will be showing you through this beautiful 2013 Atasca Ellipse today. Uh, my number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. So, you know, we get a lot of uh, really nice trade-ins here, but this trade-in in particular stands out. Um, no pets, no smoke, really clean, um, very nicely taken care of, and you can tell Whatever uh, the family that used this coach did before, they took a lot of care uh, of this RV. So if you're looking for a really nice mid-bath, very spacious RV, you've found the right one. And when you come in to see this RV, this is exactly what you'll hope to find. So again, my name is Katie O'Neill. Welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Let's start inside out and we'll get a start from the back. Go on, Jody, take her from the rear. Okay, so a few things about this coach. It's got 46,000 miles on it. It's a 2013, it's an ellipse, and it's a 42 GD. And what's really nice about this floor plan is it has a lot of the features people are looking for these days in their RV. Um, for instance, you've got this beautiful king size bed, um, and this is one of those adjustable beds. So we can actually put this bed up, and you can watch TV here. Uh, so really nice if you wanna sit around in the evenings, maybe the kids up front watching a movie and you'd like to sit in the back and catch up on your Netflix account, whatever it is that you're looking through. Uh, but really, really nice fascia here. As you can see, the headboard has got all of this nice wood finish, uh, lots of embellishment, very, very high quality with a ton of storage. Um, so like I said, if you're in the market for an RV like this, um, this price point, you know, is just so amazing for what you can get. This RV has a 15,000 pound towing capacity. It's got a 450 uh, horsepower engine. It's just a lot of RV. So I really encourage you to consider this RV for yourself, uh, especially if you're planning on going maybe out on the open road a little bit longer. As you'll see, we do have a ceiling fan here. Um, and then I've got the air conditioning running right now off of our uh, 10 kilowatt generator. So really nice, very hefty generator. And this Atasca Ellipse is one of the, uh, kind of the stage coach of the brand at that point in time. So it's got a lot of the modern amenities that you would be looking for. And storage is one of those things. So if you take a look here, this is a very residential style closet. So all the way across, lots and lots of room, well lit. Tons and tons of storage space all the way through. I mean, as you can see, it goes all the way down here to the back. And just these little covers that you have here for their fantastic fans, just kind of an indicator as to the type of care uh, that the client that owned this RV before us uh, took care of it. So really, really nice to see those types of things. Of course, um, they've given us back all of the remotes um, they've installed Velcro on the backs of them so they're easily stowed. Uh, you have MCD shades day and night. There's also 110 outlets over here next to the bed stand. Uh, back in the day when we didn't have cell phones, you might not see that. But of course, this is a 2013, so this is going to provision for all the technology that we're using these days. But take a look at this dresser. I mean, what a residential feel. So first of all, you've got overhead cabinet storage, which is just spectacular. Uh, you also have MCD shade with an emergency exit right here. Uh, again, another 110 outlet here. Uh, they have removed the Blu-ray player, but everything is wired so it would be very easily attached to the Samsung. They did leave the HDMI cord for us and all of the remotes. And let me tell you, they left us a lot of remotes. But take a look at this. Really, really, really nice. Um, Obviously, this coach was well used and loved by people who knew how to RV. And in today's world, you know, we'll see a lot of RVs that get traded in after a year or two by people who haven't really RV'd a lot in the past. And it's a little bit suspect because you wonder whether or not they knew how to store their slides correctly, bring in their jacks, you know, whether or not the coach was well taken care of. This coach is at eight years of love. It's really, really a nice RV. And once again, it smells clean. Um, it's really in great condition. So if you're looking for something where maybe you have a little more room for your family, 
this is that RV. So I'll show you what's nice about this as well is you'll notice here that we have a few sets of doors. So this pocket door closes this way and it closes this way. And what's interesting about that is now I've got all of my own privacy, but I also have access to the restroom where I'm not walking in front of other people if they're, if they're using uh, that front couch area as a bedroom as well. So now I've got my own kind of separate quarters and then some more storage down here as well. Super nice. And they've left all of the mounting brackets that they had to hang up their pictures uh, throughout the coach. So once again, just a sign of somebody who was very conscientious. They wanted to hand this RV off uh, to the next buyer as something that was really enjoyed and loved. So Jody, why don't you go this way and I'll meet you around the corner. So I really, really love this bathroom. So this is the access point from the bedroom. Jody just came down the hallway. So as I mentioned, if you've got friends with you, you both have access to the restroom. You don't need to, you know, kind of wander in front of each other after you've gotten out of the shower. Everyone can have their own privacy. And this is a really nice, spacious shower. And you'll notice the previous clients also installed the con uh, conditioner, shampoo, and soap dispenser. Again, nice skylight above. Uh, that is actually lit. So this is really just such a classic RV. If you're looking for something um, that really is, is kind of, you know, very vintage, but in phenomenal condition and a lower price point, this is your RV. So plenty of room here, nice seat here. So if you need to wash your feet or shave your legs at the end of the day, you've got lots and lots of room. And then I want to show you this vanity. So this, this is such a nice restroom. It's got such a huge sink. Now it's a single sink, but look at all of this storage. And once again, they, they've just really taken such great care of this RV. There's so much room here. If you wanted to live in this RV full time, you'd have absolutely no problem whatsoever. Uh, lots of 110 outlets. Once again, they're really cool. They camouflage into this beautiful back set that you see. And I love these high polished uh, countertops with your built in soap dispenser. So it's not flying off of the RV counter while you're driving around lots of drawer space. I mean, look at how much drawer space is in this RV. It's kind of funny because as I walk through this, I think to myself, gosh, we can really adopt some of these things back into how we're building RVs these days because look at how unobstructed space you have for towels. So nice down there. And then once again, more small drawers, but they, they pull out all the way. So easy access. Everyone can have their own drawer. And then of course your washer and dryer, which is super important. And if you haven't uh, been out camping before where you've had that horrible bonfire smell, keep in mind, even if you don't intend to do washing and drying on the road, this is a great place just to use as kind of a laundry hamper so that those campfire clothes aren't stinky. Um, I love that. We use that all the time in ours. Uh, and then there's the dryer up top. So just really, really nice condition. You know, you'd have a hard time if you didn't know that this was a 2013, placing a date on the age of it because it's just so well taken care of. And of course, there's a fantastic fan above the toilet as well. And then I love, you've got this nice porcelain potty with a solid feel, very comfortable. And then Jody, if you wanted to step back into the bedroom just a little bit, is that door open for you so you can get through? Okay, cool. Um, I love that there's not only a hook here on the outside of this door, but also down the hallway. I mean, I think we all know how it is when we've got the kids and everyone's got their raincoats. Just really, really nice to have everything here. And then I will put the slides in so that you can see how nice this RV looks up from the outside a little bit later. So right here is where we have kind of the mother brain. This is where the central control of the RV is. And this is where you'll run your aqua hot system. So you do have a tankless water heater in this RV. Um, and then you also see there you've got your slide control. This is where your climate control is, all of your power control. So your inverter, everything is right here in the center control. So this is just a really great layout. Um, very, very easy to operate and use. And when we go back, I forgot to show you, I love where they've actually put the fuses and I'll show you that they're under the bed. We'll look at that before we close up the slides. But come on into the galley. So 
This is something you really don't see uh, in many RVs any longer. This has got its own full living room. So as you can see, I have the couch out. So plenty of room here to kick back and lay out and, and relax. Uh, you could lay on this couch, but also um, this was provided by the customer. Lots of storage underneath. I'm going to slide it over just a little bit. So check this out. So you could literally put this whole thing out and turn the entire couch into a bed. So if you've got littles or even your, you know, your older kids that want to come camping with you, this RV has so much room in the living room. It's just amazing. And look at the size of the Samsung television. It's incredible. I mean, talk about having a theater at your house. And then a nice place here to keep all of your remotes. So of course, a little remote drawer. They did put all of them in one location, but I assure you, we do have all of them. And then what I think is really nice about this is, so this looks so you know inviting, right? Well, how do you travel with this big couch in the way? Let me show you how easily this converts. So you just pull this cushion off. You can stow it anywhere over here. And you just lift. And this just drops down underneath. Oops. There we go. And then there's a little button right here. You lift up on that. Push it in. And here you go, stowable space. Okay, so if I've got that put together there, that leads me to another question. What do I do with this island? Is that gonna be in the way when I'm stowing my stuff? Absolutely not. I'll show you how much room you have in this RV with the slides closed today as well. So again, this is a 2013 Ellipse, and if you are looking for something in the low 200s, you are not finding anything like this available in the marketplace. This is such a good find for anyone who wants to get out and go camping. Uh, so up here we'll have more storage. And please do note that these are live videos. So if you have questions throughout the video, feel free to, to tune in underneath at Facebook. And I would be happy to answer any questions that you have. They're a lot of fun. They're quite a bit of work, but they're really rewarding because we can give so much information out to the customers, show them how so many things work. I love this writing table. If you wanted to sit down and write you know, a letter or maybe fill out some postcards while you're camping, maybe you just like doing Sudoku puzzles, whatever it might be, super, super awesome. Oops. And then, again, more storage here. So much full extension access to all of these drawers. They've done such a nice job with all of the manuals, everything that you need is here. So all the instructions on how to use everything, uh, that is worth its weight in gold. If you're camping and you have a question, it's just so nice to know that you can have access to all the information that you might need. And then of course we have our beautiful recliner, but next to that, look at this dining room table. So it's interesting, uh, this table slides out and you'll notice it goes out quite a ways. And the reason that is, is there's actually another leaf right here underneath so you can actually sit six people or at least four very comfortably around this dining room table and I love the buffet that they have above here it's so convenient to be able to uh, have a place to keep chips and dips guacamole anything along those lines while you're traveling there we go and the release is so easy now of course once again more storage space just a great place to keep plates and dishes, silverware, whatever you might need, puzzles, games. And of course you could keep all of those things up here underneath this, on this slide as well. And I talk a lot about having um, lists on your coach. Uh, when you get out, you wanna have a whiteboard where you can write down what you need to buy and what you need to replace that you've used during your camping trip or what you might have forgotten to load last time. So they've actually installed one right here, which is very handy. Nice that that's just there. So if you, for instance, need more dishwasher detergent or you need more um, laundry detergent or bug spray, you just write everything down right there so you don't forget before you take off on your next camping trip. But look at the condition of these chairs. I mean, 
I just think this is just so amazing. So for those of you that are wondering um, what the interior of this is, this is the Del Mar interior. So this is the actual sheet from 2013. Uh, we have all kind of decided that we think that this is the coffee glazed honey cherry cabinetry. Um, I could be wrong. I could be right. If you know, please chime in. Like I said, we're live on Facebook. You're welcome to tell us. I'd love to have the information. And again, the floor plan that you're looking at here is just this really roomy Ellipse 42 GD. So this is just such a nice floor plan. So on to the galley. So I know we talked about this. So this little bad boy here is not stationary. This is actually, it pulls in and out, but it does have full drawers. Again, anytime that they've had something that they've taken down, they've left the mounting clips so that you can hang up your picture as well. Uh, they've left the lubrication information that they've used for the drawer glides. I mean, <laughs> Someone really wanted to make sure that you took very care, very good care of their baby. I hope that they, uh, they see this video and know that we really appreciate how much love uh, and attention they've given this coach over the years. So, so much room. I mean, what a great place for cookie sheets. And of course, you've got your dishwasher here. Again, this is an all electric coach, so you do have your induction cooktop. And then you also have your Whirlpool. Oh, these are the covers the vent covers here so if one needs to be replaced they have extras they also have things like they have the wheel covers so they kept their tires covered and the tires are in great condition uh, 2017 date codes if you wanted to know but all of the original uh, apparatus for your convection and microwave oven so again of course you can do both there but everything just as it was in its original condition returned to you like I said if you are in the market for something in that $200,000 price point, this is it. This is such a nice RV. Um, and I'll just show you once again, they've made everything so convenient. Of course, this is designed to keep those rattles down. So much space above here. I mean, I really I'm just so thoroughly impressed you could keep sleeping bags and pillows up here so you could keep everything that you need uh, for your for your kids uh, when they wanted to spend the night in the coach without it impeding in the room that you had to pack and then I don't know if you can show this Jody but back here I just love the fact that they have their uh, cup holders as well and then this is the slide control for this other seat so super super convenient very very well laid out uh, really nice uh, condition and then we should also show, well in advance of its time, a stainless steel undermount, dual basin sink with both a vegetable sink, and then also a deep basin for regular cooking, and then a residential style faucet with spray and pour, and a hot water spigot. So everything you could possibly want for in this galley. Um, now, of course, what, what kitchen would be complete without a really nice residential style refrigerator? in great condition, but look at this. How cool is this? That's a Coke holder. Put your soda pops in there. And then look at all of this room. And I have to tell you, so this RV also has a Dometic. So it's got that outside freezer as well. So lots and lots of storage room, really nice condition, ice maker and water dispenser right here. Most of the new RVs only have a water dispenser in the door, so that's a really nice feature. It is filtered water as well. A little reading light here. I did turn um, this front passenger seat around. One of the things I've got to tell you is I really struggle in videos to make it look very easy to turn around the queen seat. I love this furniture. It's so easy to manipulate and move. The seats are heated. They're really nicely taken care of, but look at the condition. Once again, this is 46,000 miles, but such light wear. It's so evident that this coach was well taken care of. Um, down to the, the little guard to the corner. Here's all of your electronics up here. Once again, everything is mounted by Velcro. Here's your wine guard system. So here's or your kingdom, I should say. Here's your kingdom system. And then of course your auxiliary outlet for a cable. More storage once again. 
And then another huge Samsung television. Uh, and then I did leave um, the brochure in here. I wanted to make sure we covered some of the chassis information. So this Maxim chassis is a really amazing uh, chassis. And that is what this ellipse is resting on. So dual fill, again, 450 horsepower, 15,000 pound hitch rating, um, ABS brakes. I will keep this in the coach. So if you'd like to come down and see it, please let us know. Um, recently, I've had a lot of customers asking me if we would be able to deliver. So please do note that TransWest is a huge semi-truck company. So we might have four RV dealerships, but we have 38 stores in total. And if you are you know, living in Florida or Georgia and you're hoping that maybe we could bring this RV out to you, we would love to deliver that to you. And of course, we do these live videos online for everybody, but I can always FaceTime you if you've got questions and you'd like to have something addressed so that you can make a buying decision without having to come into the store. Um, so here you'll see we do have our hydraulic leveling jacks here. Nice driver side window, heated mirrors. Uh, of course, you've got a dual set um, engine brake with both high and low. And then your Allison transmission, power mirrors, and I love all of the controls on this steering wheel, really ahead of its time. Uh, beautiful Freightliner custom chassis, lovely dials, uh, jacks down alert system as well. Um, the rear view cameras right here, you've got navigation, air conditioning, and then I have the generator on right now. That's actually what's running our, um, that's what's running our air conditioner. But look at this really just nice setup. What a great place to put your soda pop. Maybe you've got a book that you might be reading on your way through or something about wildflowers or birds, who knows. Uh, but just a really, really beautiful cockpit. Uh, let me go on my clipboard. I think the next thing that we should do is probably head outside and show you a little bit of the basement storage because the basement storage in here is absolutely worth talking about. Um, Jody, if you wanna head out first, I know that that makes things a little easier on you. Oh. We've got to do the slides in. Yeah, and let me show you this first. Before we pull these slides in, I do want to show you. I think that this is so smart that they keep all of the fuses so easily. So first of all, there's air conditioning vents here under the bed, uh, but they also have all of your breakers right here. So really easy access. Everything's right here. Um, now, I don't know if you've noticed that as we've been making this video, but there is a fire alarm that needs a battery replaced. Please know that we uh, are very, very um, aware of the fact that carbon monoxide filter or air, carbon monoxide detectors and, and um, fire. What am I thinking of, Jody? Fire detectors. I was thinking fire extinguishers, and I was like, that's not the right word. Fire extinguishers will always have fresh batteries, so we'll make sure that those are in full function for you. This one obviously just needs to be replaced. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pull these slides in. So this is a quad slide. And Jody, if you want to kind of go through, you can show them uh, what this looks like when it's pulled in on the uh, through the bathroom. So that pulls right up there. And then here on this side, we'll pull this in. And I have to tell you, it's like 92 degrees today. Um, and it is absolutely nice and cool in this RV. So that's a really important thing to me. Um, but I did want to show you that you do have MCD shades. So you've got shades throughout this coach. So if you wanted to sleep in, it would be very easy to do so in this RV. Um, now we're going to pull in the main part of the house, and this is one of my favorite features. So let me just turn my recliner around. I had it, of course, staged for television. Um, but I'm going to pull this in, and you're going to see the magical disappearing island. Oh, you know what, Jody? My controls, I forget. They're not in the front. So this is one of those great features that, you know, you just forget how convenient everything is. Everything is here in the front. And there she goes, your magical disappearing island. How smart is that design? Now, 
We do have one or two RVs that have this, but I just think that that is so clever. And as you'll be able to see, Jody can walk back here and show you, I have so much room for walking in this RV and it's got a very unusual shape to it, but there's absolutely plenty of room for anybody who has um, dogs that have crates. Jody, come on back. I'd like to show this off because I think a lot of people have uh, their, their pets with them. This has a lot of room where you could actually put puppy crates back here. Um, or puppy beds if they get nervous while they're driving. So there's so much room here, and this goes all the way into the bedroom, so I would still have access to the bedroom, which is really, really nice. So like I said, this is a really um, fantastic layout. I think that, you know, Winnebago really knocked it out of the park, um, or at this time, I guess it was a Tasca, but of course they are currently the same company, um, both all of the features and the way that they've laid out this RV. So I have to tell you, I wish I had a mirror so I could show you guys watching Jody back up through this coach. It's pretty talented. Jody, turn around. You can walk out that way. <laughs> Someone's going to get hurt. We're going to have a workman's comp issue on my hands. Somebody damaged the, the videographer. All right, well, let's, head, let's head outside. <laughs> Such a sport. We do these. Uh, we do these videos uh, five days a week. We do. Um, oh, am I am I doing the door? Five days a week we do these videos where um, we do an RV. Oh, let's hit that generator too. I need any more air conditioning. Um, and so we do horse trailer videos. We do truck videos and we do RV videos. So we do three videos a day, five days a week here at TransWest. So if you haven't tuned into our YouTube station in the past, please do. There's so much information. It would be very unlikely that there's an RV we haven't already made a video on for you. I did want to just show off. I love that door with the, with the screen. And then there's also a cover that pulls up right here. So you could cover this if you wanted to have it completely blacked out. This is a really nice wide screen door and it has an MCD shade that covers the whole entire front entrance as well. Um, again, here's that Maxim chassis. Uh, we've got, of course, our awnings out right now. It's really helped to cut down on the heat. Uh, I know we've talked about the Onan generator. Uh, we've got, of course, those two air conditioners that are wonderful. But look at all of this storage space. So I love the way that this opens up. Such a wide slide. and so easy to load. So as you can see where that halfway point is, you could very easily load or unload this the whole way through. Whether or not your slides were out, there's a nice storage compartment underneath. Uh, this storage compartment would be a great place to keep any kind of fishing poles and it actually bridges into the next section. So it's really, really deep. Um, of course, right here, you've got your two 110 outlets. This is gonna be a great place to keep your blender for making margaritas right below the television. Duh. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's see. So first things first. So you pull these little balls down and that closes this door. And then you just close this door right afterwards. We'll pop this bad boy down just so you can see how pretty this coach is from the outside. Of course, I did mention dual fill. So there's one of your filling stations and then this paint job is really in amazing condition. So this does not have any decals. This is a full paint finish. And again, more storage. And then this is a gigantic air filter. So for your first service, the air filter is free. Uh, and then in this bag are wheel covers. So once again, you know, when you're buying an RV from somebody, it's really hard at a dealership to know who the previous owners were. And a lot of times we'll take these things out, but I wanted to leave this stuff in here today because I really think that it speaks to the quality of the person who had this RV before us. Um, they took great care of it. And if you ended up with this ellipse, you'd be a very, very lucky person. Again, here's that Norcold uh, freezer. And this is of course on a tray, as you would expect. And what's nice about this is this is, you know, we talk about this a lot. Uh, coolers work really well, but it's nice not to need ice. So you've got something where you can keep your beverages outside or keep things um, that you're going to use for barbecuing outside without having to have ice underneath. 
And then, oh, I didn't mention it on the inside. So here is the outside vacuum attachment, but this RV also does have central vac. Uh, and of course, those are all of the little attachments below, all of the original attachments, the original hose right here. Uh, and then there's an LED light in this cabinet, another 110 outlet and USB port back here as well. And 60% uh, wheel cut at the front gives you a really highly functional tag axle. So uh, these are 22 and a half inch Michelins. They're in great condition. As you can see, there's no cracking. They're really nice tires. And uh, again, that tag is just gonna give you a much easier turning radius. And then underneath here is the ladder. So in a lot of our RVs these days, you'll find that we don't have a rear ladder. It's nice that they've actually given you a rear ladder for this. And it's great that it's in this compartment, so you don't need to leave it on the coach. You can take it off and just have it there when you need it. And then again, uh, Trans West Truck Trailer L RV. I'll tell you, we don't put these on here anymore, so I don't know when we sold this RV originally. I would imagine it was sometime in the neighborhood of 2013, uh, but at least you know where she came from. Uh, 15,000 pound towing capacity, I know that that's important. And then right back here, we have the rest of our fuse panels. Also our def tank, very easily accessible. And then our, of course, chassis batteries right here, very easily accessible. Look at the size of these slides. I mean, so again, this is a four slide unit, but what an amazing amount of slide space that you have. And of course we have these other small awnings that we don't have out on this side, but it's just nice to have these smaller awnings that you can use to cover your windows. Beautiful water station down here. Uh, nice place to keep a paper towel dispenser. You've got your outdoor shower as well. Um, and again, if you are looking for an RV that somebody took great care of, that comes with all of the replacement parts, waiting and ready to go on your next camping trip, this is it. And it's just so unusual to find uh, somebody who didn't take out all the stuff for the next guy. Um, and this of course has your 50 amp power cord right here. Um, and then on top of that, it's not only power, but you also have access here to your aqua hot system. And this is the 450D. So most of our RVs run on a 250 aqua hot system. So these bigger aqua hot systems, of course, just give you more unlimited hot water if you're camping. Uh, if you were plugged in and camping and you had access to a sewer, you could take a shower for as long as you want. And for me, that is welcome news. Uh, here's the other side to that big slide that we had up front and then once again you just pull these little balls to release the top and the bottom so smart system here making it all that much easier to access and all that much wider and um, this is a great place for anyone who's ever had an outlander uh, fire grill these are great little grills you can have for Colorado where you can still have uh, bonfires if you will even during a fire ban so that would just be a great compartment for that and then again, dual fill. So you've got your other filling station here. I love these integrated side cameras and turn signals. All of the signs of a high-end coach. Again, this Winnebago Ellipse was the kind of the trademark top of the line in 2013. So you're getting just a phenomenal vehicle that's been really well taken care of. And that's just so clean. Uh, so I do encourage you, if you haven't had a chance to drive this RV, we have a really great uh, open test drive down some back frontage roads, very comfortable. If you want to feel out the power, it's easy to get on the freeway. Uh, we're really close to the mountains. We're nestled in the foothills of Colorado. Um, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Please reach out to me by text, send me an email, give me a call. And this is stock number 5U. 210-891, again, 5U210-891. If you go to YouTube, you can plug that number in and pull up this video and you'll find so many more. Um, I hope that I've given you a nice sneak peek into a phenomenal piece of inventory here at TransWest today. Thank you so much for tuning in and thanks for all of your comments and feedback online. I read all of them. I really appreciate it. We're always trying to get better, uh, but I hope that this really helps you make your next RV purchasing decision a little easier. Thanks again.